if I would have seen that before I did this video, I probably wouldn't have known. But now, if I see it, I'm gonna know. <laughs> hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is a Bolo category video. What is that? That's where I take a brand or a category and I break it down and I show you what's selling for big money. It's a great way to learn. I have a whole playlist of these, so definitely check out another video if you have not seen these before. But in this video, we are going to talk about Lisa Frank. So she... It's just mind blowing. I don't even know what to say about it. I just cannot believe what these items sold for. But this first one is going to make you really think about how you're checking comps. All right. Are you ready? <gasps> Here's a little Bolo Buddies tip. So right here, I'm looking at solds and I'm like a thousand dollars. And yeah, here it is thousand dollars they have on this and it's under the solds so i take this and i go into their feedback and i look and right here it says fuzz buddy doll a thousand dollars sold great seller thanks and i'm thinking okay it's a good sale but because the item is marked through i went over to terapeak to check it because that is very important to do. Whenever you see a best offer was taken and the item is striked out, you know that the item did not sell for that price. What a lot of people do is they think, oh, it probably sold for something close to that. That's typically what I assume also. But for some reason, I just felt weird about this one. And if I'm going to show you guys a bolo and say it sold for close to $1,000, I'm going to check it first. And I try to do that in all of my Bolo category videos because I'd like to keep things as accurate as possible. Now, you can see here that this seller took an offer of $29.99 for this with free shipping. So did it sell for $1,000 like it says? No, it sold for $29.99 with free shipping. So not a Bolo, not a Bolo. I mean, still 30 bucks is decent if they picked it up cheap, but no, it did not sell for $1,000. Here is the first one. Let's talk about these dolls. These are Lisa Frank Fab Friends. I didn't even know that there were such a thing as Lisa Frank dolls, but apparently they are. There are, and they are a bolo. This sold for $80 plus shipping. This one right here kind of caught me off guard. It reminds you of a little beanie baby. Um, which it kind of, you know, essentially is kind of the same thing, but it's by Lisa Frank. And it's just a small nine inch plush. This is the forest tiger. This is a stuffed animal. This one is harder to find and it sold for $88 plus shipping. This is a vintage 80s sticker book, um, but it's only three album pages. So it's just the three pages here. And they're not all Lisa Frank. And this sold for $95 plus shipping. If you don't know, vintage stickers can be a big money bolo. Party favors. Lisa Frank party favors. Mini eraser pops. So these are little erasers. But they've got the Lisa Frank uh, logo and branding all over them. And these sold for $100 plus shipping. 28 bids. So how do you know more information on the bidders? So if you go in, you can see that the person started this auction at $8.99 and there were 28 bids with six unique bidders and it was a seven day auction and the buyer paid the shipping. So if you want to go in and dig a little deeper, you can do that. This is a Lisa Frank clear mini purse ballerina bunnies. It's a little purse. You know, you look at it and it's really just kind of an inexpensive looking item sold for $99 plus shipping. Let me know down in the comments. Does anybody have vintage Lisa Frank items? Are they really well made? Do they stay together good? Do they crackle? Do they have any issues like that? Or are they pretty well made? Because this just looks inexpensive to me. Let me know down in the comments. 
This is a sealed Lisa Frank gift box stationery set, Penguins and Hummingbirds. This sold for $102.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a 1990s Lisa Frank desk set. Check it out. Check it out. So it used to be that you knew that it was vintage because it was capital L and capital F, but I will let you guys know that they are bringing back the capital L and capital F. So you do have to be careful and know what is vintage and what is not. This sold for $117.50 plus shipping. Here is another Lisa Frank. It's a towel. And this towel sold for $135 plus shipping. And look at this one, $136.50 plus shipping for this towel. Look at that face. I will tell you, Lisa Frank is an incredible artist. I mean, all of her stuff is just so bright and colorful. And if you see it, you know it's her work. I mean, it is just so obvious, all of the Lisa Frank stuff. Lisa Frank 1990s shirt with the logo on it sold for 150 free shipping. This one is really cool. It's the ultimate vintage Lisa Frank club membership. So this is some sort of membership package from 1993. Um, how interesting is that? Pretty cool. It's got the name on it and everything. And it's still sold for $152.50 plus shipping. Lisa Frank plush 24 inch spotty paws dog. This sold for $169.50 plus shipping. And I don't know if you guys saw my video, but I found a vintage Lisa Frank dog plush like this. Only mine is yellow at the Goodwill bins and nobody picked it up. It was just sitting there waiting on me. And I've got footage of that in a video. Go check it out. It says Lisa Frank in the title. So type Lisa Frank Bolo Buddies into the YouTube search bar and you will find that video. I dig through the bins and I find this plush dog. So go check it out. Here's another one of these little uh, stuffed animals. This one sold for $187.50. It looks to be in better condition than the other one. Here is a bobblehead. Um, look how cute this is. It is vintage. It's from the 90s. And the bobbleheads by Lisa Frank do really well. So definitely be on the lookout for those. $99 plus shipping. This next item, I don't think I would recommend this. I'm guessing they used photo room on this. Like I'm cool with a solid background like this. But uh, this makes me feel like it's a cartoon or not real. Does that make sense? Here is the original picture. So it just gives the illusion of, I don't know, not being real to me. So like a picture. I, I don't know. Do you, does that make sense? But anyway, they sold it for $205 plus shipping. I mean, it is a cool graphic. It looks cool. But uh, this makes me believe, makes it believable. Even the white background is fine, in my opinion, but this is confusing to me. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Some of you may disagree with me because they outlined it. I don't know. I mean, it's a great picture. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if it's the great use of pictures for, uh, for an eBay listing. I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this made the listing pop and brought people into the listing? I mean, maybe, maybe. Here is a Lisa Frank Dream Writer Super Set Stationery Set of three. These sold for $199.95 plus shipping. This is a backpack, a Lisa Frank backpack. The, a lot of the backpacks do really well. I did not pull them all up, but there were a lot of big money backpacks. $263.99 plus shipping. So definitely just be on the lookout for anything, Lisa Frank. Let's just keep that very general. Lisa Frank Peekaboo Turtle Makeup Kit Organizer Carrying Case with Extras rare $282 plus shipping. Let's see what this thing does. Does it open up? I wanted to see what it does. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So it just opens up. Cute. Yeah. Folds in and opens up. Lisa Frank Zoomer and Zorbit. Now I saw a lot of Zoomer and Zorbit and it seems like those items do really, really well. There are some of the high dollar stuff. This looks like it has the original tag on it here with the barcode and this sold for 305 plus shipping. It's a, a purse and it's an alien purse. Trapper Keeper three ring binder. Here it is. This is what it looks like. And it sold for $361 plus shipping. So it does have the folders in there. And it is the Galactic Sunday. 
Check this out. Vintage Lisa Frank pink cat coat hanger from the 90s. Authentic and hard to find, it says. Would you ever think that something like this would go for $395? Well, just wait. Wait until you see my last item I'm going to show you. Incredible. And the buyer paid shipping on that. Condition looks fantastic. Here is another Zorbit and Zoomer. This is another alien bag. This one sold for 400 plus shipping. Look at this. This is a crossbody. I mean, I feel like I would see this at a garage sale sitting in the free box and I'd pass by it because I'd be like, oh, that that's nothing. Oh, it's something. It is definitely something. Do not pass by this little alien bag if you see it. This sold for $700 plus shipping. The next item here are more character hangers. These sold for $787 plus shipping. Now, the other one we saw, that one sold for almost $400. Should they have parted it out? Would they have made more? Or was this one extra special? <gasps> what do you guys think? What would you have done? $787 plus shipping. Wow. And you can see here, right here, I pulled it up. Here's your feedback. Amazing seller. Excellent products. Really goes above and beyond. $787. So Lisa Frank is most definitely a big money bolo. Now, are there items that don't go for as much? Of course, just like any category, there's going to be bread and butter and there's going to be big money. Also, be sure that you're finding the vintage items because the newer stuff obviously is not going to sell for as much. People are looking for the older items. If you have found Vintage Lisa Frank and sold it for big money, let me know down in the comments where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. Thank you guys so much for being here. Check out some more of my Bolo category videos. They are super educational, things that you would maybe walk past if you didn't see the video. Now, are some of these items hard to find? Most definitely. But that little alien purse, there's no way to know that was Lisa Frank unless you open it up and look inside or you know that it's Lisa Frank. If I would have seen that before I did this video, I probably wouldn't have known. But now if I see it, I'm going to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Check out some more videos. You might learn something that you didn't know about. And the next time you won't walk past it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.